Well, greetings from the Black Hills of South Dakota. The Black Hills seem like an ideal location to put together a short video on upcoming content on this channel. That content will focus on the Sioux War of 1876-77, with particular attention paid to the Battle of the Little Bighorn. Please be advised that I still need to publish two more presentations from the Gettysburg Meetup, which I should accomplish in the next week or so. Then I'm going to start cranking out the Sioux War content. You know, the reason the Gettysburg videos are delayed is that I, I just spent two weeks on the road. This included capturing footage at Fort Abraham Lincoln, walking through Custer's last house, following Custer's route through the Badlands, and exploring various sites along the Powder River, the Tongue River, and Rosebud Creek. At the battle site itself, I gained unprecedented access to the area of Reno's fight in the valley. That, along with numerous videos and pictures that I took, and from the archives of the Library of Congress, will give you a sense of the fighting like no other production can. You know, we are going to analyze the Battle of the Rosebud also. You know, this fight on the 17th of June, 1863, offers several insights that are directly relatable to the Little Bighorn fight that occurred eight days later. There will be a few other surprises, including a psychological profile of Custer and the creation of an interactive order of battle based upon what appears to be a complete roster of the 7th Cavalry Regiment. I will create an interactive list of Sioux and Cheyenne warriors as well. The link to the 7th Cavalry roster is in the description below, and I will provide one for warriors in a future video. If you have not done so, be sure to support this channel, so please like and subscribe. You know, I'm going to close this video by demonstrating how to use the roster application. So this is the application that is interactive that gets you the June of 1876 roster of the 7th Cavalry. Here is the link, which is in the description, and there are three pages. There's the raw data page that you see here, which has the source, and that comes from the, uh, the Friends of the Little Bighorn. Uh, the guys uh, with that organization did a, a tremendous job uh, researching this. And then you know, there's various filters, company, rank, whether they were present or on detached service. In Valley, did they fight with Reno in the Valley? Uh, were they on the hilltop with the reno Benteen defense and those that were with Custer? So as you can see, if you were with Custer, you were not in the valley. So you can interact uh, in, with that fashion with the data. So I've cleared all the filters except with Custer. Uh, we want to show 100 entries. And as you can see, you now have 100 entries. Uh, the variables captured here are the name, the company, uh, their rank, date of birth, place of birth, occupation, the service date, uh, clean remarks. Uh, I took the remarks out of the original PDF document and then used standard uh, text mining procedures to clean it up. Uh, you have their year of service and then based on uh, June 25, 1876, the days of service at the time of the battle. And then we talked about these variables, their age, and then uh, killed, wounded, Medal of Honor. So one equates to yes. Uh, zero to no, uh, so you can go, and then you can sort with these. Now you, now you can see no Medal of Honor winners, because with Custer, let's go to all, and there should be, let's do sort descending, and you should see, well, let's go up here, and um, so you see Medal of Honor winners, one is yes, zero is no. So we go over and we should be able to see Private Peter Thompson among that list of Medal of Honor winners. Peter Thompson died hot springs, South Dakota, and that, that final variable, a one, a yes. Okay, so that's the first page. You can download the data. Just click the button 
and you'll get a comma delimited file. Let me open that up for you. Here's the full data set that's embedded in here. And then here's casualty sum summaries by various grouping variables, company, whether they were in the valley with Reno, the hilltop defense, or with Custer. Now this is very similar if you've seen my prior videos in the Civil War uh, at Gettysburg, you know that uh, this app is available, which is very similar. It does the same thing. Here I've sorted cavalry, the state of Michigan, at the battle, and you can see it was the, uh, the four regiments of Custer's Brigade. So here's the link for that. Uh, speaking of Gettysburg, one last thing here. Let me go back to the raw data. This search button is quite helpful. So let me type in Brinker Hoff. And those of you familiar with the Battle of Gettysburg would know about Brinkerhoff Ridge. And so Private Henry M. Brinkerhoff was from Gettysburg, PA. Joined the cavalry, 1874. He survived Reno's fight in the valley, the hilltop fight. And as you can see, he died in Los Angeles in 1933. Okay, as usual, if you go through this data and you see any errors or omissions, please let me know, and I will correct it because it's very easy to do so in this, in this data. If you could provide a, a, a proper source, we'll get her done. Okay, that's all I have. Thank you.